Hi, I'm Trudy and I want to read you a story today. It's a book called The Man Who Didn't Wash His Dishes. It was first published in 1950 by Phyllis Krasilovsky and illustrated by Barbara Cooney. The Man Who Didn't Wash His Dishes There once was a man who lived all alone in a little house on the edge of a town. He didn't have any wife or children, so he always cooked his own supper, cleaned the house by himself, and made his own bed. One night he came home hungrier than usual, so he made himself a big, big supper. It was a very good supper. He liked to cook and could make good things to eat. But there was so much of it that he grew very, very tired by the time he had finished. He just sat back in his chair as full as he could be and decided he'd leave the dishes in the sink till the next night, and then he would wash them all at once. But the next night, he was twice as hungry, so he cooked twice as big a supper and took twice as long to eat it and was twice as tired by the time he had finished. So he left those dishes in the sink too. Well, as the days went by, he got hungrier and hungrier and more and more tired and so he never washed his dishes. After a while, there were so many dirty dishes that they didn't all fit in the sink. So he began to pile them on the table. Soon the table was so full that he began to put them on his bookshelves. And when they were full, he put them just about everywhere he could find an empty place. Soon he had them piled on the floor, too. In fact, in fact, the floor got to be so full of dishes that he had a hard time getting into his house at night. They were even piled against the door. Then one night he looked in his closet and found that there wasn't one clean dish left. He was hungry enough to eat out of anything so he ate out of the soap dish from the bathroom. It was too dirty for him to use again the next night, so he used one of his ashtrays. Pretty soon he had used up all the ashtrays, then he ate out of some clean flower pots he found down in the cellar. When they were all used up, he ate out of candy dishes and drank water from vases. Finally, he used up everything, even the pots he cooked his food in, and he didn't know what to do. He was so unhappy. His whole house was full of dirty dishes and dirty flower pots and dirty ashtrays and dirty candy dishes and dirty pots and a dirty soap dish. He couldn't find his books or his alarm clock or even his bed anymore. He couldn't sit down to think because even his chairs were filled with dishes and he couldn't find the sink so he could wash them. But then, all of a sudden, it began to rain and the man got an idea. He drove his big truck around to the side of the house and piled all the dishes on it and all the vases, and all the flower pots, and all the ashtrays, and all the candy dish dishes, and the soap dish, and drove the truck out into the rain. The rain fell on everything, and soon all the things were clean again. The rain had washed them. Then the man carried everything back into the house. He put the dishes in the dish closet, the pots in the pot closet, the ashtrays on the tables, the candy dishes on the shelves, the flower pots in the cellar, the vases in their places, and the soap dish in the bathroom. He was so very, very tired after carrying everything back and putting it away that he decided 
From then on, he would always wash his dishes just as soon as he had finished his supper. The next night, when he came home, he cooked his supper, and when he had finished eating it, he washed the dishes and put them right away, and he did this every night after that. The man is very happy now. He can find his chairs, and he can find his alarm clock, and he can find his bed. It is easy for him to get into his house, too, because there are no more dishes piled on the floor or anywhere.